Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation x to the power 1 over 3 plus x to the power 1 over 2 is equal to 12. We need to find all possible values of x. So, let's start. Since the LCM of this 3 and this 2 LCM of 3 and 2 is equal to 6. So, we suppose that let x is equal to m to the power 6. If we substitute m to the power 6 in place of this x and in place of this x, then this equation will become m to the power 6 whole to the power 1 over 3 plus m to the power 6 whole to the power 1 over 2 is equal to 12. Now, by using this power rule a to the power m whole to the power n is equal to a to the power m times n. 3 1 time and 3 2 times 6, 2 1 time to 3 times 6. So, here we are left with m squared plus m cubed is equal to 12. Now, we rearrange these two terms, we write this m cubed first, m cubed plus this m squared is equal to this 12 can be written as this 12 can be written as 8 plus 4. So, we write this 12 as 8 plus 4. Now, because this 8, this 8 is same as 2 cubed and this 4 is same as, 4 is same as 2 squared. So, we write this 8 with this m cubed and we write this 4 with this m squared. Then, this equation will become m cubed minus 8 plus m squared minus 4 is equal to 0. Next, m cubed minus this 8 can be written as 2 cube plus this m squared, m squared minus this 4 can be written as 2 squared is equal to 0. Now, by using this uh, algebraic identity a cubed minus b cubed is equal to a minus b times a squared plus uh, a b plus b squared. This uh, m cubed minus 2 cubed can be factorized as m minus 2 times m squared plus 2 times m plus 2 squared or 4 plus by using this algebraic identity a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. This m squared minus 2 squared can be factorized as m plus 2 times m minus 2 is equal to 0. Now, as you can see this expression m minus 2, this expression m minus 2 is a common factor. So, we factor out this m minus 2, m minus 2 as a common factor and in bracket left, in bracket left this m squared plus 2 m plus 4 plus this m plus 2. In bracket left, m squared plus 2 times m plus 4 plus m plus 2 is equal to 0. Next, m minus 2 times this m squared m squared plus this 2m plus 1m will become 3 times m plus this 4 and this 2 will become 6 is equal to 0. 
Now, from here, either this expression m minus 2 is equal to 0 or this expression m squared plus 3 times m plus 6 is equal to 0. From this equation, we get the value of m is equal to 2. And from this quadratic equation, we see that the discriminant of this equation is less than 0 or greater than 0. For this, we write the values of a, b and c. In this quadratic equation, a is equal to 1, b is equal to 3 and c is equal to 6. In discriminant d is equal to b squared minus 4 times a times c and this is equal to in place of b we write this 3 3 squared minus 4 times in place of a we write 1 time in place of c we write 6. So, this will become 3 squared is 9 minus 4 times 1 times 6 is 24 and this is equal to 9 minus 24 is negative 15. So, the discriminant that is also called delta is less than 0. So, no real solutions can be formed from this equation. So, we accept only this value of m 2. Now, to find the value of x, recall that we have supposed we have supposed that x is equal to m to the power 6. We have supposed that x is equal to m to the power 6. Now, in this equation, we put this value of m 2. Then, this equation will become x is equal to place of this m, we write this 2. So, 2 to the power 6 and x is equal to 2 to the power 6 is 64. This is the final value of x. This is the final answer of this equation. Now, let us verify this value of x by putting this value in the original equation. The original equation is x to the power 1 over 3 plus x to the power 1 over 2 is equal to 12. In this equation, we put the value of x 64 then this equation will become 64 to the power 1 over 3 plus 64 to the power 1 over 2 is equal to 12. Now, this 64 is same as 4 cubed whole to the power this power 1 over 3 plus this 64 can be written as 8 squared whole to the power this power 1 over 2 is equal to 12. Now, by using this power rule a to the power m whole to the power n is equal to a to the power m times n. When we multiply this power 3 by this power 1 over 3, this 3 get cancelled with this 3 and this 2 get cancelled with this 2 and uh, here we are left with 4 plus 8 is equal to 12 and 4 plus 8 12 is equal to 12. You can see that left hand side is equal to the right hand side. So, this value of x is 64 is a valid solution. That is all for now. Keep watching and thank you so much for your kind support.